What happens when the sweet taste of victory turns sour with a lack of respect? In the high-stakes world of combat sports, moments of triumph can sometimes take a dark turn. Join us as we look into the intriguing, often controversial, and occasionally jaw-dropping instances where fighters, instead of showing respect after a win, chose to ignite controversy and push the boundaries of sportsmanship. What drives these post-victory antics? Let's find out. Number 10. Ronda Rousey vs. Holly Holm In a stunning disillusion, Holm defeated Rousey with a head-kick knockout inside the second spherical, handing Rousey her first MMA loss. The combat marked a turning factor in Rousey's career. After the knockout, Rousey changed into visibly disoriented and struggled to get lower back on her toes. Holm, displaying sportsmanship, refrained from any additional strikes and right away walked away from Rousey, who remained at the canvas. What made this second mainly memorable and controversial became Rousey's lack of acknowledgement or sportsmanship toward Holm after the fight. Instead of extending a handshake or a signal of admiration, Rousey walked away and failed to recognize Holmes' victory. This departure from the usual put-up fight culture of showing recognition and sportsmanship became met with grievance and unhappiness from lovers and fellow combatants. Number 9. Nate Diaz vs. Kurt Pellegrino The conflict itself served as a testament to the skill and future of both fighters. Diaz, who is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu master, used his skills with a superb triangle choke to win the second round. After the submission, Nate Diaz did something that would live in memory when Pellegrino tapped out and the referee intervened to end the fight. Diaz chose to hang on to the submission for a few extra seconds, rather than ending the chokehold as a typical way to show respect and give his opponent time to recover. He made a move that did nothing to win over his intended audience by raising both middle fingers toward his beaten opponent. It became a clear violation of decency and the unspoken rule of honor in MMA. Number 8. Mizuto Hirota vs. Shinya Aoki Hirota was twisted up by Aoki, one of the best submission fighters in the world, who had his arm behind his back. Aoki fractured Hirota's arm when he refused to tap out and submit. In MMA, dislocations and broken limbs occasionally occur until the referee orders you to stop fighting. But Aoki went to a new low in sportsmanship when he stood up and gave the gravely hurt Hirota with the middle finger. He enhanced it by running around the ring in celebration like Superman before giving the crowd another middle finger. Aoki may now hold the record for the worst example of sportsmanship in the annals of sports with his act. Number 7. Khabib Nurmagomedov vs. Conor McGregor The promotional tour leading up to UFC 229 involved heated arguments, trash-talking, and personal insults between Khabib and McGregor. Tensions peaked on fight night as the arena outside the octagon became fully packed. The fight developed into a thrilling competition, and in the end, Conor McGregor was submitted by a neck crank in the fourth round as Khabib Nurmagomedov displayed his dominance in wrestling and grappling, but what happened after the battle was total shame. Moments after McGregor submitted, Khabib rushed over the cage and charged towards McGregor's cornerman, still filled with emotion and spurred by the months of verbal sparring proceeding up to the fight. Security personnel and authorities attempted to control them as chaos broke out. Members of both combatants' teams engaged in physical fights both inside and outside the cage during the event, which involved numerous parties. Number 6. Josh Koshek vs. Paul Daly Days before the match, both boxers had engaged in verbal combat and trash-talking. The actual fight was a heated competition. While Daly started to land strikes, Koshek used his wrestling skill to secure takedowns and keep him under control on the ground. Koshek's talent on the ground was evident as the second round came to a conclusion, and it was certain that he would win by unanimous decision. However, what happened right after the final bell is what will always be remembered about this battle. After the fight, Koshek approached Daly who was unable to move and still on the floor was teased by him, which only increased the rivalry between the two. Paul Daly, who was truly upset and humiliated by his defeat and Koshek's insults, punched Koshek in the face. This resulted into chaos as security guards and police officials raced to separate both of them. Number 5. Michael Page vs. Evangelista Cyborg Page demonstrated his striking prowess and lived up to his reputation. In the second round, Page delivered a flying knee to Cyborg's skull, knocking him out cold. While the knee was clearly a highlight reel second, what happened there after raised questions and became a conflict. 
Paige showed a Pokemon ball throw in an unexpected and insulting move, thus making fun of his injured opponent's state. As the referee responded to the injured cyborg, the audience in attendance and viewers elsewhere watched in shock. Michael Page's conduct drew harsh criticism, and the MMA scene demanded punishment. Later, Page apologized for his acts and expressed regret for them, admitting that they were disrespectful and unacceptable. The effects were more severe for Evangelista Cyborg Santos. A cracked skull from Page's flying knee was a life-threatening injury that made him withdraw from MMA No. 4, Brock Lesnar vs. Frank Mir II. The two of them had previously faced off at UFC 81, where Frank Mir defeated WWE crossover superstar Brock Lesnar through submission. The rematch had the potential to be an intense match, but it was ruined by a disrespectful moment that will live on in MMA records. Lesnar was able to control the fight from the start, thanks to his strength and skill in wrestling. In the second round, Mir was rendered helpless by Lesnar's ground-and-pound attack. However, what happened after Lesnar won by a knockout would grab all of the attention. Instead of recognizing his fallen opponent, Lesnar teased and mocked Mir with trash-talking, personal insults involving his family. Fans, authorities, and other combatants had all expressed astonishment and disbelief at Lesnar's behavior. Number 3. Jorge Masvidal vs. Ben Askren Ben Askren, known for his common trash-talking and undisputed record, has taken verbal shots from Masvidal throughout the fight's buildup. The fight between Jorge Masvidal and Ben Askren at UFC 239 on July 6, 2019, just lasted five seconds. Yet it will go down in MMA history not for its knockout mastery, but rather for Jorge Masvidal's lack of awareness and shame. Masvidal wasted no time getting started in the fight. He ran across the octagon and threw a flying knee at Askren's head, rather than the customary glove contact or an ordinary jab to his opponent. The vicious blow connected with pinpoint accuracy, knocking Askren out before he ever touched the ground. As soon as the referee stepped in, the fight was declared over, and Jorge mocked him with gestures. One of the quickest knockouts in UFC history was achieved by Jorge Masvidal, despite the fact that Masvidal's lack of sportsmanship and respect. This decision was met with mixed reactions from the MMA community and fans worldwide. Number 2. John Jones and Daniel Cormier won. Jones and Cormier had a controversial, publicized hatred prior to their fight, which included a fight during a press conference. While Daniel Cormier focused on enhancing his wrestling skills, John Jones utilized his reach and style. In the end, Jones won through unanimous decision to keep his title. However, the attention and criticism were focused on his post-fight behavior. When the fight came to a close, Jones defeated Cormier to clinch the victory. After victory, he arrived and landed punches to Cormier, demonstrating a complete lack of regard for his rival. Cormier responded angrily and shoved Jones in response to the hit because he was obviously dissatisfied with the outcome and the loss. When security and law enforcement officers had to separate the two radicals, the situation got worse. Number 1. Israel Adesanya vs. Paulo Costa While the build-up to the fight was filled with trash talk and tension, it was the post-fight actions of Adesanya that garnered attention and controversy. When the fight finally took place, Adesanya dominated Costa in a clinical fashion, earning a TKO victory in the second round. However, it was what happened in the moments after the fight that left a lasting impression. Rather than displaying the customary sign of respect for his defeated opponent, Adesanya performed a lewd and provocative gesture over Costa, seemingly mimicking sexual activity. The act was widely criticized and considered disrespectful, not only to Costa, but to the sport itself. Adesanya's actions were met with backlash from fans, fellow fighters, and MMA pundits. In the unforgiving arena of combat sports, emotions can run high. These incidents serve as cautionary tales, illustrating the need for fighters to balance their competitive drive with sportsmanship. While raw emotions may occasionally overshadow respect, the enduring values of honor and professionalism remain vital in preserving the integrity of the sport. Comment your views on these moments from the video. Like, share, and subscribe if you like watching similar content.